Morning, folks. The starting point today is a strong solar flare and CME eruption at the same active region cresting out of view towards the far side of the sun. The blast registered at M5.5, which caused a level 2 radio blackout over the Indian Ocean, southern Asia, and western Australia. The CME was moderately expansive while maintaining its general directionality, again, ahead of Earth's orbit and not aimed at us. But something else was. Do you see how the screen gets fuzzy after the eruption? It's not random. Those are solar protons pounding the satellite. Earth is taking a low-level solar proton radiation storm at the moment. Even though the CME will miss Earth and wouldn't even arrive for three days if it had been fired our way, the solar protons are here now. Let's learn some space weather. When a strong enough flare or CME occurs, there is not just that one outward component of plasma. The CME is more directional than the proton surges, which don't even take straight pathways as they curve with the interplanetary magnetic fields connecting the planets to the sun. And along those fields, the three-day wait for a CME is splintered down to minutes as these energetic particles surge to nearly the speed of light along those magnetic field lines. These can be as damaging to satellites as CMEs. So let's watch that play out here. The solar flare ionization signature and radio blackout come first, and then 76 minutes later, the protons arrive at the polar region. Those field connections through space do prefer the poles. This low-level event is not scary, but does contribute about two orders of magnitude to the polar plasma bombardment of Earth, relevant for climate forcing as you can learn about in the climate playlist listed below the video. Let's move on to a quick visualization of the orbit of Roman. This is one of those next-gen space scopes that should be able to see enough of the dust and plasma and indirect effects of electric and magnetic fields to begin breaking down the standard model of cosmology, which the Steinharts have been doing now for two generations. They're always fun to read. Let's be honest, at the scales of time and vastness they're dealing with here, they really are swinging pin needles against major league curveballs. And in a lesser version of that funny thing I just said, we've got a new claim of a black hole shredding a star and activating jets even though nothing escapes a black hole, including light, and yet they swear that's what it is because of all the light they see coming from it. Radio and x-rays turned them on to the dwarf galaxy 11 years ago last week, and with the new Hubble images, they now claim there is indeed nothing else this could be but a black hole. Thin inner disk, space bridge, both explain the shape and the signature with a galactic nucleus of any kind, and would explain the heavy outer star formation regions due to the cluttered environment, allowing for more interaction and accretion. Journal of Comparative Physiology with two papers on deck up next looking at a review and new insights into the critical importance of Earth's magnetic field for various species. Fish are the new orange in this field, by the way. And the importance bolsters every word we said in our 2021 letter to the geophysical community, which is a plea based on the catastrophe documentary I've been talking about since its release on Christmas Day, and it can be found on both spaceweathernews.com and suspiciousobservers.org, right there above the morning news. Anyway, folks, had to share this. It's not just Rocky over at the Big Burb channel who's handy. Third time our CEO and my wife Kat has taken apart the dryer to fix it and put the whole thing back together. She's really good at it and it amazes me every time. And while she was being awesome, I was asking for similar thought process help over at the Big Burb channel. We posted a short clip last night where I'm pleading for you to spill your ideas out in full. And we are loving seeing what you have to say already. And we wonder if anyone can outdo the idea Billy Yelverton had on the phone. We will share that in our next episode, along with perhaps some of your great ideas as well. We greatly appreciate your support. The Big Burb channel, the disaster documentary, and that climate forcing playlist we mentioned earlier are all found linked in the description box right below the video. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.